G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. This video is the first video in a series of videos where we're going to be having a look at the base method of multiplication. It's a method of multiplication multiplying bigger numbers where you can start to mentally multiply bigger numbers uh, using this idea of a base. Now, what is this? It's a, a base is a, an easy method of multiplication um, where basically what you're doing is you're multiplying two numbers that we're going to start out and they're going to be fairly close to one another but they're going to get further and further away. We're going to multiply these two numbers using a third number, a, a, a nice easy number which we call a base. Uh, and you'll see how this works. So a few of you guys will be able to multiply some of these numbers quite easy. You've seen my uh, earlier videos, but this video was just starting um, this method of multiplication which we will build upon. So it's really, really worth sitting through and, and watching because you, I do modify the way I can do this multiplication. So first off, I'll give you an example. You should be able to do this fairly quickly. What's 14 times 12? Now, look, you pretty much automatically should get the answer come to your head that this is 168. Okay, if you didn't, don't worry. If you did, congratulations. But I'm going to show you the way that we work using this base method. Now, a base number, you're going to see these numbers are quite close to one another. First off, they, they do have a number which is fairly much in common, and this number is a base number of 10. Ten's a number which is nice and close to these numbers, and 10's also a pretty easy number to multiply around with. Other numbers which we can use as bases, as you'll see in future videos, will include things like 20, maybe 50, even 100, and they can go even further from there. Okay, so these are nice, easy numbers to multiply with. Now I'll show you how we play around with these base numbers. So we've used, we've chosen the base number of 10. So when we look at 14, this 14 is 4 more plus 4 more than our base number here. So plus 4 and our 12 is plus 2 more than our base number 10. So the first way we get our answer is this. We add either this number to this number, so our, our 2 here to the 14, or we could add the 4 to the 12 there. You see that? So we, we do a bit of cross addition sort of thing here. And you're going to see that it's going to give us the same answer no matter what. This is often the case, this is actually always the case when we do this. So you just have to choose one of them to add, okay? So first off, let's add 14 to 2 here. And we get the answer of 16. Yeah? And that's how we get our first part of our answer. The next thing we do is we multiply these two numbers together, okay? This plus 4 and plus 2. Okay, and it's what do you get when you multiply plus 4 and plus 2? When you multiply 4 and 2, you get the number 8. So, we get the answer of 168. Okay, you're pretty good with this? Okay, so we're going to explore this a little bit more, okay? Um, and I'll put another example up. And it's really, really important you get this idea of, first off, which base we're using, also how we're, we're getting those numbers above those particular numbers. So let's let's give you an answer here, uh, an answer. Let's give you a, a question here. What about we do this one? 15 times 13. Now, again, we're only going to be playing around with the base 10 in this particular video, but we will use other bases in other videos. So, using base 10, this is 5 above 10, and this is 3 above 10. So, we add one of these numbers together. So, either this one or this one. It doesn't matter again. So, 15 plus 3, we get 18. Now, look, when you're multiplying these mentally, I actually find it helpful to not think of this as 18, but it's actually 180, okay? That's our tens part. So the addition part gives us our first part, and then we add these guys together. So 5 times 3 is 15. And so we're going to add these guys together. So 180 plus 15 is a nice easy one you can do in your head, which is 195. Okay, I'm only writing those down mainly just so we can show what's going on. I think these are really easy ones to do in your head. You see that? Okay. I'll give you another example. This is really critical that you get the basics of this if you decide to continue on with this. So what about we do another one? We'll do 17 times 12. Again, we're using base 10. We're going to go plus 7, plus 2. We add these two numbers together. We get a 100. We get 19, which is we're seeing as 190. We multiply these two numbers. We get 14. 190 plus 14 is 204. Okay, 
how'd you go with those? Pretty good. I'll tell you what, now I'm going to modify these a little bit. So, uh, and you'll, you'll see this modification in a bit. Now, again, these some of these questions you may be able to answer fairly easy using different methods. But I'm going to encourage you just for the minute to use this particular method because it is going to get trickier. It's going to get, well, it's not trickier so much, but it is going to start looking at different bases. So, what about we do this one? What about we go 8 times 17? Because we can also... You're going to notice these numbers are close to 10 too, so we can also use these numbers as well um, when we're using a base 10. But there's a little bit of a difference this time, okay? Now, this number here is 2 below. Okay, I'm going to use a different colour to show that. Obviously, in your head, you'll, you won't be able to do that. So this is 2 below 10, and this one here is 7 above. And again, the same thing. You can either 17 plus minus 2 or 8 plus 7. It gives you the same answer. Of 15 or 150 then we multiply these guys together now minus 7 that minus 2 times 7 is not 14 it's minus 14 okay so we're going to take 14 away from our answer and we get the answer of 136 okay you see how that worked these two guys give a negative number so we're actually taking our answer away here and it's a little trick that, look, it's easy to fall for occasionally when you are first doing these. Okay, what about, I'm going to give you, a, I think an answer, a, a question that you're going to know the answer to almost straight away, but let's investigate it anyway. What about we do 9 times 9? Now look, hopefully you're looking at that straight away and going, yeah, I know the answer to that, and hopefully you're going to say it's 81. But let's have a look at this using this method. So this is 1 below 10, this is 1 below 10. So 9 take 1 is... 8, so we're going to see there's 80. Then minus 1 times minus 1. Now, minus times a minus gives us a positive number, so we're going to get plus 1. Okay? 80 plus 1 is 81. Cool, yeah? We can even go a little bit further than this. We can we can actually do numbers uh, almost on the other part of the spectrum. I'm going to give you a couple of examples in a second, uh, a couple of your own ones to work through. We can even do something like, say, what about this one, 19 times 21. Okay, we can use this idea of basis here. This number here is 9 above 10. This one here is, I'm going to put a plus there, this one here is 11 above 10. So 19 plus 11 is 30, becomes 300. And then 11 times 9 is 99. Our answer, you got it, is 399. But what you might notice with this is this number's not only, these numbers are not only sort of close to 10, but they're actually closer to 20, okay? We can actually use base 20 to work these out, and that's what we're going to be having a look at in our next video, is the idea of using base 20, okay? Now, look, I think I'll leave you with a few examples with this, just to consolidate this, but just first off, what you probably should get with this, today's video, with this part of the video, is this idea of using these numbers here, this idea of using a base, okay? Uh, and how we deal with these when we are doing them, okay? Because it actually doesn't vary a huge amount, even when we start getting even bigger numbers. All right, I'm going to give you a couple of examples here. See how you go with them. What about we do these ones? 14 times 13. What about we do, uh, I'll do one, 9 times 18. What about we do 15 times 15? Okay, pause the video and see how you go with answering these. Okay, how'd you go? Um, let's have a look. So this one's 4 above. This one's a plus 3. So we get 14 plus 3, which is 170. Okay, 17, 7, 170. And then we multiply these two numbers. 4 times 3 is 12. So we add these guys together, and we get the answer of 182. Okay, what about we do this next one now? We get this one's... 8 above. This one here, 9, is 1 below. So, 9 plus 8, or 18 take 1, is 17. So, again, 170. And then we multiply these two guys. One, minus 1 times 8 is minus 8. Okay? So, 170 minus 8 is 162. How are you going so far? Ah, let's do this last one. So, this one's 5 above. This one's 5 above. We add these guys together. So, 
That's 15 plus 5 is 20, becomes 200. 5 times 5 is 25. We get the answer of 225. And you're going to see that, yeah, this is all obviously on paper, but these are not so bad to also start doing in your head. Okay, the method, the, the way you which you might do it, might vary depending on how comfortable you are. Okay, uh, sometimes you might, you might think, well, I'm going to work out this times bit first, so you can keep the eight in your head. You know, you're going to take eight off the answer, and then you work out, you know, it's 170, take eight. Okay, and then you get 162. It's all up to you with this one. Okay, anyway, the next video we're going to be having a look at, it's going to start looking at this base 20 idea. So I hope to see you then. Bye.